we have all the multimedia content in one centralized place. We have the social communities, Twitter, Facebook, you know, also centralized. You have all your home electronic devices connected to your TV as well, to the network at home. Uh, web access, of course, but not only that. You have also contact with your doctor, your personal doctor. And here we have everything scheduled, what kind of medicines do you need to take during the day, and also if uh, you need to have uh, devices connected to the system for blood pressure measuring or oxygen on the blood or this kind of things. You can also press the emergency button. <laughs> So it's, it's just sending the alarm to the hospital and um, it's activating the video system, checking what is going on. The doctor can access the database, I mean this is the database that the doctor access with information about everything, blood pressure, sleeping hours, weight, glucose, water, everything by day, by week. So everything we don't need to wait until we have everything integrated and the future TV and everything we have today commercial this kind of mobile devices there you by using um, medical devices connected to the mobile device using Bluetooth connectivity and uh, sending the results using the mobile network to the hospital. When you are making a very, very heavy braking, the car is going to inform the cars behind that something happened on the road, and also use the mobile network to send information to the central traffic office. For example, in this case, we're going to make a movie to watch on the car. So we are using the mobile phone. And we decide what kind of content, okay, the video, this video, this specific one. And we want to watch this one on the car. Nice. The application recognizes, okay, the left side, the right side, where? On the left side. And here we have it. We can also have information of traffic uh, alert, traffic hazard warnings. We can also, um, here in Stockholm, we need to pay the use of the main roads in the city. We can also use the mobile phones of the car, the dashboard, to make this kind of financial transaction as well. We can diagnostic the car. So now it's scanning the car and checking everything is if everything is okay. Time to get to get the results. And it seems to have a problem with, with the brakes. You can book the, the service time from this application. And if you have everything connected, it could be just checking with your outlook if you have time that day or not. It's like a Facebook, but it's for my electronic devices, let's see. Uh, so let me show you. This morning, I left my house and I forgot to turn off the lights. So this application is telling me, hello, you forgot to turn off the lights. Would you like me to turn off? Of course. So I want some kind of intelligence on my home network. So it's double checking, right? Like Are you sure? Something. Yes, something like that. <laughs> <laughs> and, um, and now it's just turning off the, the lights. And it's also activating the camera. So I can double check if the lights are off.
My friends. Friends. Alarm clock is my friend. Calendar. Electricity meter. Uh, watching machine. This machine. Lights. Uh, media server. All my home electronic devices. Do you think we are far away from that? I no. hope so. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think so. You see the power consumption and the, the price here. How it changed. The dish machine as well. So it's increasing and decreasing the power consumption. The heat in the oven, everything. If I start the test here, you will see the download speed and upload speed that we're going to get right now. And this is the ping time, 44 milliseconds. Yes, we are testing the full capacity, as I told you. Mm -hmm. So we have almost 89 megabits per second with this one. Have you tried the, um, the commercial dongles that we have from Telia? No. No, but they go to Telia somewhere. a couple of more subscriptions so we are getting up to three four subscriptions per user uh, and that starts to, to, to distort this picture where we thought one user was one subscription but here are the worldwide standards when it comes to the to the number of subscriptions that we have and you can see also here uh, on the 2011 where we are now that we are we have passed then on 5.3 and we're moving towards 6 billion mobile users in the world the world will be fully penetrated eventually here and we believe that in the next five years everyone who wants to have a mobile phone in the world will have one. And I think that can also be important to, to remember and understand. It means more or less that the only people who will not have a mobile phone in the world is the people who don't really want one. And that are, are, are younger children and some elderly people who believe that this was not for them and maybe some other fanatics. But normally otherwise everyone will have one. At the same time, in this planning scenario 2016, five years from now, we also believe that the number of mobile data users, the smartphone users, that will also have grown to almost the same number of users of mobile telephony that we have today. Commercial uh, available um, laptop with integrated LTE. So you can actually go to the store here in, uh, in Shisa Centrum and buy it at uh, Telia. However, if you look for instance at uh, Metro PCS in the US, they started directly with a, 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 a handset, handheld device. Uh, not what they call a smartphone, but a feature phone. So yeah. this, this was actually outside, uh, outside the room when I tried it very briefly. So, so, five down and so this, is, this is the macro network, uh, so this, we okay. don't have any in building. Breadbandskollen, if you don't know it, broadband control. It means it's Swedish brand for one like speedtest.net if you have that or something like that. It's to check the speed, yeah, over the line that you have. Wow, so it's better. Oh my god. Oh, it's an LTE performance, see? 64, 65 megabit. And then uplink. 
Come on, come on. Thirty. Better, better. I mean, God, what we oh, invested wow. so much. Twenty-nine. Okay. And, and latency twenty-nine. 29. Yeah, you can see the latency. That's the really cool thing. Do you know what the latency is normally? What is the latency on the GSM system? About one hundred fifty, two hundred. Yeah. 